Honestly, words can't describe the feeling at the time. It was just so many different emotions in one. It was a, a dream come true. It was uh, something I thought about uh, on a regular basis, if not every day. 29 All-Americans, 13 MAC Outstanding Wrestlers, 105 MAC Champions, and 15 MAC Team Championships. The Ohio Wrestling Program has had its ups and downs lately, but this program has a storied history of success led by a coaching staff that holds five All-American awards. Both head coach Joel Greenlee and his assistant Kyle Hansen were two-time All-American wrestlers at Northern Iowa. This young Bobcat team looks towards their successful coaching staff in the hopes of duplicating their success. And that's the goal. I've been there and done that, so I think I'm a little more relevant when I'm talking. You know, guys know that I've, I've accomplished the goal that they want. You have to think that this is how they practice, how they train, so you know it has to work, so it definitely uh, makes it easier to train hard. And train they do with co-captains Jeremy Johnson and Cody Walters having already captured that elusive All-American status. The coaches say that these two set the pace for the rest of the team. You, know, you look up and those guys are already getting going. And um, I think our guys, our younger guys, look up to them and they can see uh, an example that they bring forth every day. And I think that's uh, great for our room and for our future recruits. Uh, now it makes it a lot easier. It's not just the coach telling them what to do. We have guys on our team, team that have accomplished that. So it, it, it makes our job easier. The redshirt senior Jeremy Johnson, or better known by his teammates and coaches as Train, is using his last year at Ohio to get back to where he once was. As a redshirt sophomore, Johnson finished seventh at Nationals in 2012. Former teammate Jermaine Lindsay was crowned an All-American in 2010 at Ohio but is haunted by the shortcomings of his senior year where he missed out on a chance to become a two-timer by a tenth of a pound. He's now returned to the Cats, but this time as a coach with the determination to help Johnson make the most of his senior year and return to the podium. It's, it's more like, a, hey, um, my senior year didn't go out to plan exactly how I wanted, so hey, train, I can give you as much, as much advice as possible for your senior year, so you just need to, get, you need to go better than mine. Johnson's not the only Bobcat looking to reclaim All-American status. Red Series sophomore Cody Walters is defending All-American at 174 pounds. After struggling through some injuries early this season, Walters leaned on his coach's experience to help push him through the pressure of repeating. I definitely go out there feeling heavier, not, not doing as well as I think I should have, and that's why I'm thankful that I have the coaches that I had because I talked to Hanson about it, and he actually told me how he went through the same things. And, he told me how some ways he did uh, things he did to overcome it, and I think that really helped me. With five returning national qualifiers and two of them looking to garner their second All-American honors, Coach Greenlee is hoping the Bobcats' recent triumphs will help his current wrestlers along with the future of the program. I think we're headed in the right direction. I think we're getting better and better every year. Uh, actually, I think we're getting better and better every week. Uh, I, I think that's something you can sell the kids. Um, that, that you can't be an All-American here, that you're going to get a great education, that you're going to have a great coaching staff, uh, you know, people that care.